It's spring at Crocodile Creek. Crocs are now starting to lay eggs. For the next month, six weeks, we're going to be pretty busy searching for nests, collecting eggs, trying not to get eaten, and then putting them in the incubator to get them to hatch. <laughs> You've got to end up having five hands and six pairs of legs and everything on the cock farm. Okay, <laughs> now she's not marked. Okay. Here you'll be able to see exactly how the nest is laid. This is a beautiful Amazing. example. You notice we're keeping them in exactly the same plane as we pick them up. We, we don't turn them up or down, we keep them in the same plane. As long as you don't roll that egg over. If you roll that egg over, it'll die. You can see the mucus there. That acts like sort of a rubbery tube to protect the egg when it's rolling down into the sand or on rocks or anything. It's very, very elastic. This is what we call in the crocodile business white gold. Because this is our next year's pr production and then three years time our income. Yeah. Very nice list. Oh, you could. Now what we'll do is we'll take these to the incubator and then we're going to clean them up a bit. And once you've cleaned them up, they then get placed all next to each other because these little babies, they will be talking to each other while they're growing in those eggs. And while they're talking to each other, that means they'll all hatch out at the same time. And hopefully in late January, we've got 40 odd 50 babies, which would be quite nice. All right, let's take them to the incubator. Okay, walk away. And this is the incubator and we'll just come in and just pop them up here on the shelf like that. What's the temperature in there? Temperature in here is um, 32 degrees. Um, the water on the floor, the humidity is up at over 100%. So it's very important that that water and that humidity must be in that incubator. And that will keep those eggs perfect. And you can tell how humid it is because the camera just fogged up. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, the, it's, uh, the, the fog stopped. Juggling! Juggling eggs, juggling school kids, juggling people. Crocodile farmers have to do it all. Let's go that way. Okay, we got racing croc crocodiles this year. We're spraying all the crocodiles with numbers as they've laid so we know. And if they've got a tag on them, then we'll take their tag number as well. So that is quite useful. So let's see if we can get it off this nest we've come up with a piece of corrugated iron which makes a lot of noise it acts like a shield one chases the crocodile away because it's a big object landing on top of the crocodile and two when the crocodile is gone we can use it to shield ourselves if there's only two or three of us in the pen that are collecting eggs Hold on. See, some nests, you've got the eggs that are just like a hundred more below the surface. Um, it's just a little bit. Leave it there, leave it, leave it. Don't, don't hassle. Don't hassle, leave it. We just stand here quietly, she won't do anything. Okay, one nice thing about these eggs, if you have a look there, can you see, can you zoom in there with your camera? Can you see this egg's got a distinct band there? That tells me these eggs are fertile. You can see them. Yeah. There's a band. Once we start lifting the eggs, you'll oh, start yeah, seeing very, very careful with these. the banding further down. It's very important that 
Uncle Peter lifts all the eggs of the crocodiles because it makes him feel like a grandpa 55 times or 65 <laughs> times. Now the one nice thing about farming, every year it's a rebirth. Uh, you know, you start again from scratch. It's actually exciting. Always enjoy the getting the eggs. In 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 Zulu tradition, um, the more children you have, the richer you are, and you want all your grandkids to look after you when you're old. Crocodile babies are looking after Pe Peter <laughs> yeah. as he gets older. Did they look after me or eat me? One of the two. <laughs> it's quite important to close it up. I think socially the crocodile will come back and guard her nest, not realize that the eggs have all been taken, and then next year she will try again. And she'll come back maybe even to the same nesting bay where she was before. Okay, you can go back to your nest now. Hey, pass up, pass up, pass up, pass up. Hey. No, I'm meaner than you. Okay. Hey, that wasn't fun. <laughs> you never know when you're going to get eaten. And this one, having just laid, is determined to get us. And I don't blame her. And I'll show you the eggs there. They are there. That's a small nest. This one was only 30 odd eggs. Right, we have to actually look, take it very easy when we're carting these eggs down because these are the banded. If I stumble and shake this box, then I'm going to destroy a year's work. So one has to handle them very, very carefully. We can actually play God by creating all males or all females if we so wish. By increasing the temperature up to about 31 and a half, 32, if we could keep that consistent in our incubator, then we could produce all males. If we put the temperature in at uh, 28 degrees, we'll produce predominantly females. Right, they've been placed in the incubator. A lot of them are fertile, which I'm pleased to see. And we just leave them here and we'll look after them like you look after babies for the next 90 days. Then hopefully you can see them popping out of their shells. Okay.